tortoise egg. Meerkats have come across a tortoise egg, but they don't have the right dentition to eat eggs usually. They are not like the banded mongooses who can throw an egg between their legs and crack it. So they can smell it, they know that there's food in there, but usually meerkats encounter cracked eggs and then they are able to break them open a bit further. As you can see, that younger one is just not succeeding. But if it manages to push it against an object, it might get it there and crack it. The tortoise eggshells are not very hard, but it is very rare for them to encounter something like this. Why would the other one not lend a... Alright, that's the dominant uh, male at the moment. Yeah. And in fact, baby meerkats go through a process of what we call teaching mm. or learning from teachers. And what happens is older meerkats actually show them food and then they let them basically take care of it themselves. At first with a scorpion that they might introduce, which could kill a human, sting from a scorpion. From the Boothidae family, Parabuthus has neurotoxic or nerve destroying or attacking venom, can result in cardiovascular failure, paralysis and death. What happens is a meerkat will nip off the telson or sting of the scorpion and chew it up and bring it to a baby at first. Later they'll bring it back intact. So gradually this is happening. Now if the baby doesn't manage to break open the egg, which is quite likely to be the case, the adult might actually go ahead and try and take it. Mm. But please notice how it is actually being very tolerant of the baby wasting time pretty much. <laughs> the rest of the group is moving on. So the time it takes animals to look for food must also be very carefully balanced between how much time it takes before they themselves become food. Mm. So while that baby is learning, the older one is scanning around for danger as well. Please notice that. Okay. Right. Very unusual to see this kind of behavior. Oh, it looks like it's giving up. Just a bit of interest. <laughs> now, when I hear from ostrich farmers that meerkats are eating ostrich eggs, uh, that's why a video clip like this is so useful, because a meerkat is struggling even to eat a little tortoise egg with a thin shell. <laughs> Never mind a shell that can take over 100 plus kilograms of weight on it. A meerkat is under a kilogram in weight and has tiny little teeth which are not even adapted for chewing meat in the first place or breaking shells. So quite often the black-back jackal will crack eggs mm. and then meerkats will find them already opened and then they might lick up the yolk. Because meerkats are opportunistic drinkers. They don't go around eating the plants as I mentioned. They get all the water they need from the juicy grubs mainly that they eat. And occasionally if they find an egg like this and manage to get it open or find one that's cracked open, that also helps them. Have they got, um, is there a couple of teeth in the front there that I see? Or not really? Yes, they've got canines, canines. sticking out yeah. and little incisor teeth, but they don't have any sharp carnassial ridge teeth like you'll find the mongooses have. It looks like quite soon they're going to have to move on. And the dominant male is just having a look for the rest of the group, clearly. Oh, they're quite far off now. Almost 100 meters away, so it can't be much more time before they start moving off. It's interesting to see this happening just goes to show you the level of tolerance that they have for the younger animals. And quite protective. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not wanting to share that. Now what I haven't mentioned to you yet because we haven't heard the sounds up close is that each individual generation of meerkats does not share food with the same generation of meerkats ever. So baby meerkats certainly do not share food with other baby meerkats. It's only when they're making this whining sound now, which we call the begging call, yes. which happens for the first two, three, three and a half to four months, mm. that other animals will tolerate them coming up to ask for food, and animals from older generations. Now, he clearly knows what he's doing. Yeah. He's trying to get his mouth right around it, but even then, he's struggling, and this is an old male. They just don't have the right teeth for this. But maybe if they push it against a little pebble, the pressure will crack it. Oh, 
Oh, I think let's have a closer look. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How's that for you, Sandy? Can you see? Okay. If you'd like to come stand next to me, thanks. Yeah. Excellent. This is what I like to call the unedited wildlife documentaries, simply because this video clip will go online just as it is. And there's no editing or changing it. I don't enjoy watching so-called documentaries that have predetermined scripts and in post-edit they change whatever footage they shot to make a story that's not actually what happened. For example, I've seen animals playing and then that's been slowed down and called fighting mm. to the death with other groups and, and so on. And quite often that can happen in uh, editing. So we make a point of not editing any footage that we take here. Okay. And with its nails you'd think it would be able to. Ah. The nails are very sharp, almost like a dog's nails, but they're not cat nails again, which are often retractile. The meerkat has non-retractile nails, so the four long nails on each front foot or paw are very useful for smashing through compacted soil and for climbing up onto objects more easily. They've got short nails on the back feet, as you can see when he stands up there. And that is atypical of mongooses again. Usually mongooses have long nails in the front and back feet or short nails on front and back, not long and short. So just another anatomical difference there between them. Now the mongooses that live in this area, the yellow mongoose, the small grey mongoose, the large grey or Egyptian, the water mongoose as I mentioned, all are stealth hunters. That was interesting. That's almost like a banded mongoose behavior. Very unusual to see. Uh, are they from the same, not species, but from the same They are closest family. living relatives, relatives yes, of, of, of the mongo mongooses. However, in this area all the mongooses have cutting teeth, mm. all of them are stealth hunters, they're all very quiet in other words when they're hunting, mm. and they have all been seen to eat eggs and chicken and ostrich chicks and geese, whereas the meerkats don't do that. They're very noisy as you can hear here. Mm. So unless a goose or ostrich chick is completely deaf, it will not allow a meerkat anywhere near it. Mm. But mongooses often do manage to catch them, but they're also very important for controlling rodent populations, for example, which often form the bulk of their diet. Whereas the meerkats are not eating those kind of food items. And how old would this baby be grown? This one was born in August. Okay. So only a few months old. What's November today? It's just, just getting to a point now. It's weaned off its mother's milk after a month and a half. It's been weaned off its milk, off uh, her milk rather. And it's starting to become more independent. Now usually the rest of the group would have moved off much further than this. And this is very, very rare behavior to see meerkats staying so far away from the rest of the group. But the chances are quite high. If he doesn't manage, oh, he's got it. Oh, has he? Did he managed to crack it with his canine there. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> well, that's a very good meal for that baby. Lots of moisture there. Certainly a rare find. Look at that. And if it wasn't for him showing the baby, basically. Yeah. Did he crack that, it with his... Yes. Um, he turned his head sideways and that canine just managed to crack the shell. Just enough. So it's interesting, even though he cracked it, he let the baby come up and eat it. Which I find amazing. He's not taking anything for himself. No. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe there'll be a bit of a leftover for him. It's unlikely though, because babies will eat and eat and eat opportunistically until they can hardly move. Now what is quite misleading with meerkats when people see them all moving together is they often think meerkats are in fact cooperative hunters. Just because they're cooperative breeders and help raise each other's young, mm. they assume that they're cooperative hunters. They're not. Mm. They usually will not share food <laughs> and if they find a juicy grub or something they will not basically call the others to share it. Yeah. So each one usually hunts its own food except when there are babies around who can actually go up and take food from others or brought mm. food as we've seen once before and now with this egg being foraged. Would that egg have been underground or was it just lying on the top? Probably buried okay. beneath a shrub. Yeah, okay. And meerkats usually excavate and excavate all sorts of unusual objects. Yeah, a small reward. <laughs>